Hi everyone, I am Ashley and I'm a third year veterinary student at St. George's University. And for today, I am going to be going over six tips to write your personal statement for your veterinary application. I have been requested to do this video years ago, but I am now just getting to it. I apologize for it coming so late. I just wanted to make sure I put together a very good list for you guys. And I also will put some other recommendations down in the description box so you can get an idea on how to write the personal statement. Your personal statement for vet school is arguably one of the most important parts of your application. This is the first thing that the admissions team will look at when they are deciding whether or not to give you an interview invite or an acceptance letter, depending on the school you apply to. It is really difficult to show your personality, your values, your morals. It was definitely the hardest part of the application for me, just because I don't like talking about myself that much. But in the personal statement, you really do have to brag about yourself in order to look good and competent to be a vet student. Over the last few years, I have had the privilege to read a bunch of different personal statements from students who are applying or have already been accepted, just to get an idea on what works and what doesn't work for your personal statement. For the first tip, figure out what makes you stand out as an applicant. So this could be anywhere from your background that doesn't have to do with veterinary medicine, or you did 4-H as a child, or you had some amazing experience with Loop Abroad. A lot of people decide to talk about their major thing that made them want to go into veterinary medicine. So you just want to find like a good couple of ideas on how you want to structure your personal statement. I personally stuck with one major aspect in my personal statement, and I feel like that really helped me stand out as an applicant. Don't say that you only want to work with animals and not humans, because in this career field, you work with a lot of humans. Since our animals can't really talk to us, you'll be dealing with all sorts of clients. Don't put that in your personal statement, please, because it is a huge red flag, to me at least, reading that, and I'm sure it's a red flag for the admissions team. Try to write in chronological order, meaning don't jump from your childhood experience to your adult experience, and then back to your childhood experience. You kind of want to structure your personal statement as kind of a timeline on how you came to the idea that you wanted to be a veterinarian for your career because it's very important for the admissions team to understand why you feel like you would be a good veterinarian and what makes you different than the rest of the applicant pool. Putting stuff in a chronological order will definitely help you figure out, oh, so this is how I wanted to be a veterinarian to start off with, but then this is the steps I made towards that goal. Give yourself plenty of time to write your personal statement. Honestly, I would make this your first priority over everything else, over your supplemental essays, over your experiences, because the personal statement was by far one of the hardest things I had to write in my veterinary application. Don't leave this on the back burner. Keep in mind other areas of your application because you want to avoid repeating yourself in your personal statement. You want to elaborate on one of your key experiences or something that really makes you stand out. For example, I spoke about my military childhood and how I grew up in Europe for 18 years and how I started my veterinary career there. You will want to read out your essay before you submit your application. You just want to make sure it sounds good and there's no weird awkward pauses or sentences that just don't make sense or you're repeating yourself. It's very helpful to read your application essay out loud just so you have a peace of mind as well when you are submitting the application and waiting for months usually for a reply. These are my top tips for writing your personal statement. And again, if you do want some other advice from other YouTubers, 
I will put those links down below because there are so many videos out there that give helpful tips on how to write your personal statement because it is a huge part of you getting an acceptance letter versus a denial. If you would like to see what I wrote on my third application cycle, please let me know via email or Instagram because I check those more often than I check my YouTube posts. I did change my personal statement every cycle, so if you did want to see those changes as well, let me know that too, and I can definitely share what I wrote beforehand, just because I did change my personal statement on my third application cycle, and I think that really helped me get into the three vet schools that I did. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give it a like and subscribe for more, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!